All right, guys, I, uh, I got these four closed loop stepper motors in the mail today. And uh, three out of the four of them have failed. The only one that's good is this, this one here, number one. Two has no motion when you apply power. Three, there's a mechanical failure. And four, there's a mechanical failure. So I've got it hooked up to uh, 24 volts here. And that's run into uh, one of these stepper motor exciters or controllers. So I'm going to show you what uh, each one of them does so you can see. Uh, so here we go. This is stepper motor number one. Uh, I'm just going to do my best to show you. I'm going to excite it with 41 and you'll, you can see it turning. There's very little noise. So we're up to 112 RPM. Everything's good. So I'm just going to stop it and then I'll turn it the other way. And it's at 28 RPM and everything's okay. Now I'm going to switch all the leads to motor number two. Just so you can see me do it. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I'm disconnecting power from one and the control from one. So the exact same control that was operating number one is now operating number two. And here we go again. So I'm going to enable the controller. Actually, just so you can see. So there's the green light and absolutely nothing. It, it doesn't turn at all. Okay. You can see it's all connected the same way it was on the other motor. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Except I'm going to switch to number three this time. So I'll disable this. I'll put the control wires over here to number three. And this is the power. Okay, so again, here's number three. I'm going to grab the uh, controller here. I'm going to enable it. And you can hear the loud, crazy noise. Like something seriously wrong with this motor. So it doesn't matter what speed, it's just, it, it gets crazy loud. So there's some, obviously some kind of mechanical, I don't know whether it's a bearing or what, but there's something wrong with that motor. So I'm gonna stop that. And that, that issue exists on number four as well. The exact same problem. So I'm gonna swap these wires over here. And there's power. Okay, again. I'm gonna I got the controller in my hand. Whoops, my camera's getting messed up here. So I'm gonna turn on number four and you'll see it turning and you got that exact same terrible sound. Like, there's no way any motor should sound like that. If I go higher and you hear a higher pitch sound, so yeah, it's probably, probably bad bearings or some, something's too loose and shaking around in there. 